You know, the U.S., they put out a thing that says Americans should not go to China because of false imprisonment. So i probably not going to go to China. Maybe Hong Kong, but not China. I guarantee jail to go to China, I'm pretty sure. And I already called the dude of Winnie the Pooh, so like I'm already fucked. Yeah, I can't go. I can never go. I think I would just go missing. You would never know what happened to me. I mean, if I go missing, it's because I'm dead. But I'm sure I already know what Twitter would say. Ice Poseidon dies in China because he sneezed on the sidewalk. Twitter would be like, thank God, glad he died. Fuck him. Fucking scammer, dude. This guy deserves to die. I just think like, all right, keep that same energy if it happens to America. Little do they know, every single human isn't perfect. I'm just honest about it. People just don't want to be honest. I'm talking to you. You've done some things in your life that other people would judge you for. You're just not honest about it. You're hiding it. I never did a crypto scam. Okay, buddy. And it wasn't a scam. People are retarded. They keep saying that. It went up, and then it went down. It's a shit coin. It's not a scam. They still don't understand that. Oh, it's supposed to go up forever. Yeah, okay. They don't talk about the people who fucking made m money on it. They don't talk about the people who retired off it. They only talk about the theoretical people who lost money, which, by the way, doesn't exist. Where are these people that lost money? Bots? Literally bots. I mean, I checked it. There was only bots that was left in it. So it's like, whatever. Oh, y'all lost your house mortgage. Well, you know what, buddy? Should have sold. Should have sold. But I learned the hard way, too. I turned $500 into like 40 or 50K on some fucking dog shit coin. And I was in the pre sale and everything. I was like, wow, this shit could make, I might make like 500K or something from this. This thing is going to the moon right now. And I just held it. And then I woke up the next day and it was at. It was literally like $200. It had just plummeted. So I learned my lesson that day to sell when I'm up a certain amount, like 10x or something. I'm cool with that. This guy said no such thing as a rich quick thing. Actually, that's not true. If you did shit coins last year, you probably got rich if you were trading them. I made so much money trading shit coins. You just buy some stupid thing and then you just sell it the same day and you make like 5k. You just have to know what you're doing. I mean, they're all bullshit though, obviously. Some of them, I mean, you put it in, five minutes, you sell. And then if you don't sell within five minutes, you're fucked. That was the reality of it. But you know what? It, it was a good hustle. It fucking made a lot of money. And I think the people who didn't go into shit coins are jealous of the people who were trading them. How do I not know what I'm talking about? I mean, obviously no one has traded shit coins before. Dog Inu, Mini Dogecoin, Elon Seaman, all things that made me good money. Although Gary, he traded shit coins with me. He lost everything. And so did Moises. Only I made money. I don't know. I think I just sold at better times. I remember one day Moises gave me like seven hundred dollars. I turned it into like four thousand, and then I lost it all because it, it's it was like it was a honey pot, which means you can't sell. So that was fucked up. And I told Moises, I'm sorry. I I lost you half your your debt money. <laughs>